Well, I'm heading out for a ride today, and uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I got a couple of places in mind. I'm hoping that the uh, that the weather holds out. Forecast that sunny. It ain't looking too sunny. <laughs> Now hello YouTube! Um, today we're on uh, a mission to the missions. Uh, we're checking out a couple of uh, old Spanish uh, Franciscan missions. Uh, right now we're in the little Arizona village of Tudoc. Um, the first uh, stop we have is the um, Tubac Presidio. It's a garrison that they used to uh, defend settlers out here from uh, our uh, Native American friends. So we'll go catch up with you down the road here just a little bit. Oh, the GPS is not always right. Well, we will, uh, we're going to figure this out here. Well, I think I got it figured out. Well, this is much better. There's big signs for it and everything. Nice little downtown. This is uh, this is Tubac. I thought it was a sh sign for a shopping center, but this seems to be their little uh, little downtown. History lives here. This must be the place. All right, well, got a nice little shady spot, and uh, we're going to head in to the Tubac Presidio. This was a, uh, we'll find out a little bit more inside, but uh, this was a uh, military type installation to protect the settlers. So my little mistake, this was um, actually garrisoned by uh, 50 Spanish troops in the 1780s and um, it uh, it was uh, uh, outpost until um, right up until uh, the 1800s um, 1850s something like that when uh, um, after the uh, you know, had the agreement whatever I'll have to look that up but uh, we'll, we'll take a quick little walk around here so uh, just across the way is um, St. Anne's Church. It was built in the uh, 1780s. It seems like there was a big move into this area around that time. It was outside the uh, Presidio area, which is kind of odd. Most of this looks like uh, looks like it's uh, ruins or some adobe ruins over here. So they're doing some. Uh, excavation here. And there's a little stairway. I don't know what they're digging up. Oh, I thought it was a diorama, but it's not. It's actually the uh, excavation of the foundations for the buildings that were out here. So right out in front of me here is uh, an Arastera. Um, I've seen these uh, a little bit more modern of a deal. Um, 
out in the desert and uh, you put your ore down inside the circle it's almost like a mill and uh, these stones would drag over and crush the uh, crush the ore up so you could get the uh, silver and gold out bunch of millstones gotta have green to eat I guess this is uh, uh, one of the um, residential buildings that was on the property built in the uh, 1880s and this is the uh, Rojas house and um, folks lived here right up until 1989 one of the daughters um, of the first settlers uh, stayed here um, this used to be right about the center of Tubac and it was moved uh, it was moved north this is a pretty typical fencing material it's actually a pucatillo um, cut it up into sticks and uh, use it for fencing it's almost like barbed wire it keeps a lot of cattle uh, pens and and barriers are made out of it keep the cattle away from wherever you want to keep them away from so for you folks uh, not from the out southwest this is pretty typical uh, building material it's um, adobe with uh, stucco on top of it let's see if anybody's home I got it fixed up for looks like 1920s uh, period. I think you can see down to the, the kitchen. There's a couple of bedrooms. Pretty nice place. So you let me in down further here. Uh, this little uh, box here is uh, pretty typical of um, early, uh, I wouldn't say evaporative cooling, but this is how they cool the houses. If you look up at the top up there, that little uh, bump up is like a chimney. And um, they would uh, put these boxes in and you would get airflow through the building it would uh, allow the building to cool um, you're pulling the cool air off the uh, bottom of the foundation and uh, you know it wasn't uh, 68 degree air but it was pretty nice and they got lunch set up for us and everything well, there's a little outhouse and uh, some type of outbuilding over here. Looks like a, uh, at least uh, at one point it was used as a garage. There's a auto frame here. Actually, it's a wagon. So this was like a little barn structure. We're coming up on uh, Otero Hall. Uh, Tio Filo Otero. Um, apparently uh, paid to uh, have this, uh, donate the money to have this building built back in uh, 1800s. And it was used as like a community center dance hall and town meetings and that kind of stuff. And it's a big room as you might expect and uh, they turned it into a uh, Spanish colonial uh, art gallery very nice well preserved so this little section of uh, the main building uh, was the 1885 schoolhouse. I guess they had up to like 50 students in here. Look at that. You don't see that too much in schools. We the people. Wow, 
nicely preserved. The old wrought iron desks with, uh, for you uh, youngsters uh, under the age of uh, 30, those are ink wells. These little cutouts in the desks so they would uh, dip their pens in there. That was a little before my time, but. 48 star of US flag. You can actually smell the age in here. Kind of neat. Very nice. I just wanted to point something out. Uh, where I grew up, my school was built uh, around the turn of the last century, about 1914. And uh, you'd have your, uh, well, it wasn't a one-room schoolhouse. Uh, they all had cloak rooms. And you can see all the coat hooks here. You'd have to come in and uh, during the cold weather, take your, take your hat off and your, your coat and hang it up. And uh, this, is where, uh, this is where most of the fights broke out because the teacher wasn't paying attention back here. <laughs> so here we go. Well, that was it for uh, the Tubac Presidio. We're going to head over to um, the um, Tumacacori um, mission. So um, that one, the first one here is, is going to be, um, it's not operating, it's a uh, national park. So uh, the second one, San Xavier, um, that will, that's, that's actually still operating. So I'm um, going to head over there and uh, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Well, here's the uh, here's the mission to Makakakori, to Makakakori. And they got a one way in, one way out deal here. Try not to screw it up. Pop right in here. Well, we're uh, heading into our first mission today, Tumakakakori uh, National Historic Park, uh, run by the National Park Service, and uh, see if we can't get in and find out what's going on. So we're walking along the. Uh, courtyard and we're going to walk into the church it says it's points this away there she is as you can see it's a uh, not a restored structure This was uh, 1600s, around that time period, and uh, it was discovered in the, uh, rediscovered I guess in the 1850s or something like that, and uh, they've been uh, restoring it since the uh, turn of the last century, somewhere around there, or preserving it, stopping the, uh, the deterioration. It's actually the the facade has actually been um, been rebuilt partially. Cool stuff, huh? So I just had a little weird experience. I was walking up to the building here. There's music playing in the building. <laughs> wow.
get this camera switched over to low light. If you look up there, that's where the uh, statuary would be. Um, Catholicism uh, observes uh, quite a few saints and uh, this may have even been uh, Stations of the Cross. But uh, this is where the altar would be. And uh, that's where the uh, priest would come out during the, uh, the homily. The roof was gone for many years, I'm sure. But you can see the uh, cornice work up top. There would have been uh, murals and frescoes, and it would have been a pretty ornate church or a mission. would be the door to the sacristy. There's the stairs to get up to the pulpit. And uh, this is where the uh, priest would get ready. They'd store sacramental wine back here in the Eucharist. So we made it back outside and uh, just taking a little pan at the outside of the church here. You can see up there where it's white, they've uh, restored the roof over the, uh, over the altar. I'm gonna find out what these buildings are. So this was the uh, convento or convent. And uh, the nuns who uh, serve the mission would be in here. Got a little oven over there, beehive oven. The interior walls were apparently all stucco. like there were several of them there's one on that wall over there also just to keep things warm in the winter I guess so we're gonna pop outside the convent go to the convent courtyard which is probably just the lower foundation of the wall of the courtyard This is probably where the nuns would have their uh, their garden, that kind of thing, I would assume. Come out and contemplate things. So this would be the mission storehouse. You can imagine what they would put in here. Must have been like a two level deal with the stairs. You can imagine shelves in here, and you can see the structure for the upper level. Grain storage. So 
now we're walking past the storehouse into the uh, cemetery. And that round building, I believe, is the funeral chapel. I'm not sure why or what. Uh, would uh, have them have a funeral chapel separately, but you never know with things that change all the time. the inside of the funeral chapel. Obviously the uh, ceiling and roof are missing. There's no real inscriptions on any of the headstones. I do see a uh, looks like a grave would be for a small child that's still being uh, still being observed. <clears throat> See if there's a name on it. There was a little baby, Juanita Allegria, nineteen fifteen to nineteen sixteen. All the other graves seem to be unmarked. I can't read it. The walls, seems how this place was abandoned for so long, um, has some chiseled in graffiti. Um, and I don't think it's from our tagger friends of these days. You can see right there, 1918. I mean, it's just layer upon layer. Sir, so, oh boy, soldiers as they pass through, or just uh, settlers as they pass through, would have left their mark. And there's some interesting holes in the wall over here. Not really sure why. I'm not sure if this will work in here, but you can see what the uh, statuary would be inside of the chapel. I'm not sure if these were from this particular mission or not. So I was corrected on the pronunciation. It's Tumakakori National Park. And that's it. We're off to uh, San Xavier Del Bac, up near Tucson. So we'll, uh, we'll catch up there. Well, we're on our way to another mission, on our mission to the missions. And this is San Xavier Dubac. And uh, it's on the uh, San Xavier uh, Indian Reservation. Uh, we're not too far from Tucson. 
There she is right over there. Last time I was down here, 2006 or seven, and uh, you couldn't see the mission very well. They were, uh, they were doing some restoration on I guess it's been a constant restor restoration since uh, early 1900s. Anyway, we'll see if we can't get inside. Still a uh, operating church, and it is Sunday. Well, we're gonna get off the bike here and park, and uh, we'll take you inside and see if we can get some video from inside. So the bike is parked, and uh, right over my shoulder is the mission. And we're going to head in for, uh, see if we can't walk around. A whole bunch of people came out, so I don't know if mass is over or what's going on. So uh, let's see if we can't get in, take a walk around, and show you what it looks like. The last time I was here, 2006 or seven, something like that, um, the whole facade of this uh, mission was uh, um, covered in staging, so you couldn't even see it. And uh, it's pretty ornate. It's uh, stuck a whitewashed and pretty cool. So they were, uh, they were getting ready to have uh, mass in there, so um, I just did a quick pan around. I hope it wasn't uh, too dark, and uh, I'm going to go over to the, to the chapel. This, uh, the chapel here has the uh, Stations of the Cross right around the uh, outside of the garden, Cactus Garden, and the um, mission itself was uh, started in the late 1600s and construction started uh, in the uh, early 1700s. There was a few um, starts and stops, but uh, this main um, mission was built in uh, 1783. So, cool, just do a little walk around here. It's still a full functioning Catholic church, like I, like I had mentioned. And uh, there's a back and forth between the Jesuits and Franciscans and there's a whole history to that. But they did a real nice job fixing it up. I 
This is the uh, rear courtyard to the um, to the mission, and you can actually see the uh, hand-hewn uh, timber construction, and the roof is actually made up out of little sticks. I'm thinking like Acatillo and Palo Verde, just uh, stuck together. Real pretty courtyard out there and a fountain. You can't have a mission without a fountain, I don't think. No, we'll head out back out to the to the bike and uh, head on down the road. Well, that's it for uh, the mission to the missions. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Adios.